person says, it's absolutely unreal with the pro WWE fans who don't understand the whole Akira Tozawa situation. Yes, I. there's two times this past week that I've sent out a, tr- a tweet that in some way was attempting to defend something that WWE or NXT had done, or had happened to them. The first was when SmackDown got slaughtered, going up against the NFL draft, and these WWE hardcores were so stupid, they didn't realize that I was actually helping WWE by explaining why the number was so low. Instead, they just irrationally got mad. And then last night, pointing out how NXT is suffering on Wednesday nights. They're suffering in the ratings. And I pointed out that, you know, every time there's a squash match on Raw, WWE has to point out that it's NXT stars getting squashed every single time. Akira Tozawa is in the NXT interim cruiserweight tournament. He gets squashed by Jinder Mahal. I point this out. They're furious at me. They're furious. Not understanding. I'm trying to make a point here. That, like, if you if you love NXT and you want NXT to do better on Wednesdays, then this should not be happening on Raw. If you're one of the two million people watching Raw, and you've never seen NXT before, and all you see on Raw is squash matches where the company points out that these are people from NXT, why would you ever watch NXT? I'm making a point here. I'm trying to help. But people can't see that. They have to get angry about it. Yes, Akira Tozawa is in the Cruiserweight Tournament. He got squashed in two minutes by Jinder Mahal. And I got everybody defending WWE's decision to squash Akira Tozawa, when in reality, you should be upset about that. This guy should never be being squashed on Raw. It's ridiculous. It's weird how Akira Tozawa is an incredibly talented wrestler, and he has done an amazing job putting everybody over as well as humanly possible. But honestly, it's kind of funny how... Akira Tozawa, who's in the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament on NXT, who is a WWE contracted performer, is treated worse in a kayfabe sense than what well, Alan Angels the other day on uh, AEW yes. Dynamite with, uh, with Kenny Omega. Yeah, they did a way better job with Alan Angels than Akira Tozawa or anybody else that they bill as being from NXT. And dude, like I said last night, if you want to do squash matches with folks from the Performance Center... Knock yourself out. Just say that they're local talent. Don't tell us that, oh, it's it's uh, it's Ever Rise from, from NXT. And then they get squashed. Yeah, I realize they don't do anything with Ever Rise on NXT, but you're missing the point. They're telling you that they're NXT talents, and they get squashed every week in multiple segments on Raw. How does this help Wednesdays? Back in a moment, Observer Live. Back in the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Jim Valley joining us. This fella here says, poor Bianca's getting squashed. Poor Baszler. Bro, let me tell you. If you're that dumb, then this is the wrong show for you. Shayna Baszler is not an NXT talent anymore. She's a raw talent. Same with same with Bianca Belair. They're raw talents now. When, when we see people on that show that are not raw talents, they're, they're described as being NXT talents. And every single time, with zero exceptions, they are beaten and squashed. This does not help NXT at all. You're not tuning into NXT to watch Bianca Belair. She's not there anymore. You're not going to tune into NXT to see Shayna Baszler. You're not there anymore. These are the people that they're telling you are part of NXT. And every single one of them, with zero exceptions, get squashed. All right? It's a dumb idea. Don't play stupid on this show. I can block emails and texts. I don't like to do that. 